AWS Amplify is a set of tools and services that enables mobile and front-end web developers to build secure, scalable, full-stack applications powered by AWS. The storage category provides an interface for managing user content for your app in public, protected, or private storage buckets. Riverbot is a popular Flutter state management library. It offers multiple kinds of providers suited for different use cases. According to their documentation, it is a complete rewrite of the provider package to make improvements. In the third party examples sections, you will find a link for a sample app I created that uses Amplify storage category to upload images to S3 bucket. Today, we will go through the steps in the readme file to run the app using your own Amplify environment. I will use VS Code for this example, and the first step is to clone the repo. Next, I will create the Amplify environment using the Amplify init command. I will use the command flutter pop get to install the dependencies. The command amplify push will build the backend resources in the cloud. Once completed, I will have an Amplify environment with auth and storage categories configured. I will run the app, create a user, and test its features. The app allows you to upload and delete images from S3 bucket. It will display a progress indicator for the upload process. The Amplify CLI commands will create an Amplify folder for your app, where you will find the configurations for the auth and storage categories. I used the feature-first approach to structure the folders of the app. In the feature folder, I implemented a clean architecture by separating the app layers. I am initializing and configuring Amplify in the main.dart file. I wrapped the storage gallery app with a provider scope.
I am using the Amplify Authenticator to add a complete authentication flow to the app. The storage service Dart is the service layer that interacts with Amplify storage for the operation like uploading, listing, and deleting files. I am using a value notifier to track the file upload progress. I used freeze to create a data model for the storage file using the key and the URL of the storage item. The storage file controller is the business layer of the app where I have the business logic used by the UI for the app features. The controller use a service provider to integrate with the service layer. The UI will use the providers to connect with the controller. The storage file list page will use the controller future provider to get the list of the storage files. I am using a grid view to display the files in a storage file tile. In the storage file tile widget, I am using a cached network image to display the image using the key and the URL of the storage file. To delete a file, the user need to long press the tile. The floating action button will be used to select and upload an image from the gallery. Once uploaded, I will refresh the future provider to get the latest list of files. I am using the image picker package to select an image from the phone gallery. The UI will use the storage file controller provider upload file method to upload the image and monitor the progress using the value notifier to display a dialog showing the upload progress.
The delete storage file method will display a dialog for the user to confirm deleting the selected file. Once confirmed, the delete file method of the controller will be used to delete the file using the key of the file. The Amplify configuration Dart file is generated by the Amplify CLI where you can find the details of the cloud resources. When you sign in to your account, the app will display the files from the S3 bucket. You can use the app to upload new files. Long press a file to select it and delete it. That's all. Thanks for watching.